Hello my friends and welcome to episode 77 of The Wanderer. Since the last episode where we took on Stad Rene, where we won 2-0 through two Stuperovic goals. We then played Reims, we won 2-0 again. Dylan sent Louis back on the score sheet and Rogvalia on the be off the bench for Stuperovic. Also getting a goal in the injury time there. We then played Gigamp, we went 2-0 up and we drew 2-0. Less said about that, the better. Um, to be honest, I didn't think we played particularly well. We were a little bit lucky to be up, and Bruno Sarr scored two headers despite having 10 jumping reach and being about 5 foot 2. But you know, things happen. And then we played Brest where we won 2 0. That has taken us out of the relegation zone. We've got a game in hand still to all the teams below us, and a couple of the ones above us. This was a win against Monaco here, would actually propel us to. 12th in the table, I think, by my math, but take us up above St Etienne on goal difference. That's pretty impressive given where we were just a few games ago. But to pick up 7, well, 10 points out of a possible 12 since that Nancy game has been absolutely, excuse me, brilliant. But going away to Monaco is a bit of a different ball game. I have brought you back slightly early because we've got a new youth intake if it loads. I've not had any look at these. So this is the first time looking. So we've got Pla here. He is a goalkeeper with three and a half star potential. I will snap that up uh, on a youngster contract. You know, three and a half star potential is not great, but we are French, of course. We do have some pretty decent players. Three and a half stars better than our current first team goalkeeper. Five star Nigerian striker. Oh my! Could we even take you into a false nine? Maybe that might work actually if his passing goes up. Advance forward. And Poacher probably where he's at just now. Uh, I will sign you. Give me that hot prospect contract. Uh, hot prospect full time, please. Uh, give you that. And give you that. You accept. Done. I'm done. That's. I'm happy. This you think takes brilliant. <laughs> Regardless of what the rest is now. Your free start, I'll snap you up. You'll be decent. Again, just looking at you more as a sell on. Uh, Kovar, two and a half star. Maybe just give you a miss. We'll maybe come back to you. Versand, four and a half star advanced playmaker. Uh, can I can I get you into any positions that are going to work for us? I'm going to have a look at you. Mazelia, we do play with that. Off the ball of three, we'll need a bit of work, but we'll try and get you going. Um, you are Kovar, was it? No, the guy next to him. Uh, Besnard. Uh, you're 14 years old, so I've got plenty of time before you're going to be ready for the first team. Uh, Colin Ferrar, uh, two and a half star, we're not going to bother with you. Killing David, not going to bother with you. Another four and a half star advanced playmaker with, you know, not great stats. Um, can we turn you into Mazelia? In fact, you might actually work some Mazelia. Finishing's a bit worrying again, mentals are worrying, but we'll try got again a long time working with you before we actually get anything out of you it was that you yes it was Polly two and a half star right wing back three drill and three crossing I'm not even going to baller uh, Appiah three and a half star striker will give you a shot 14 years old again Ghanaian uh, Lenny just going to call you Lenny but we're not going to bother with you Lenny uh, Luke Julien we're not going to bother with you Zaddy we're not going to bother with you I'm on winger, but we could probably transfer him into something. He's 14 years old again, and going to kind of see how he develops uh, over the next four years. Uh, was that you, Hamon? Yes, it was. Mamba, Mbamba, two star. I met Gare. I kind of want this guy to be good. He is pretty decent. Uh, 14 year old French again, three and a half star. We'll snap him up. That's a pretty good youth intake, if you ask me. Uh, we are playing Monaco today, I've brought you back a couple of games early so we're going to skip ahead to the game and we'll get straight to pitch side. Almost full strength today. We've got Glenn Mengo, Brian Conn, who's broke back into the team of taking Rocha's place. Pekorni, Patev, Sambia, Jada Silva, Stuart Baird taking that place off Max Christensen. Pele, Cabo in for Oliveira who is injured or recovering from injury rather, St. Louis and Stupernovic. 
uh, to Tsunami is on the bench uh, over the Italian lad whose name I can't remember now. Moss are also in there again as well as Rooney, the left wing back who is very very young. There's another young left wing back as well that I'm keen but he's injured so he's been injured the whole time that I've been here. Fortunately that's not what I meant to say. Um, okay well I'm going with the I have faith passionately and hope we can revive some of it. I'm going to send my assistant for that one. Um, didn't mean to say that we can win this game. Because uh, we probably can't. They've matched up with us with a front three formation as well. Uh, so Pernovich is not getting there. So I out cleared by Baird. End of highlight. Brian gone. Knocks it to Baird. Already on a yellow. Couple of minutes into the game. Not quite sure. I quite like a ball in the on a yellow this early. But it's in for Dylan St. Louis. Hit the post. He's played it back across it. And be off his own man. Oh, he had an easy goal with his own man blocked it. East goal getting back to tackle. Look at some of the names on that Monaco team sheet, by the way. What a team they have. As Raheem Sterling puts it past the weak link of Glenny. Six minutes into this game. And hopefully the floodgates do not open here. Because I don't want to just knock back all that morale that we've just gained. Uh, East go. Oh, he's done enough. And it's to Soler. And if Fabinho it's hit the crossbar. I thought it was going over. Baird launches clear, but it's gone out for a throw in. Not got a 3D version of the kit that we've got because I'm not good enough to make it and ah, that's basically that. East go with a quick free kick in towards Mbolo, comes away for Gabriel Jesus, but Dylan St. Louis gets there. Run it out wide. Plays it back for Pate, four to Baird in space. To Jada Silva, back to Stuart Baird. He's not really the best on the ball, but he's clever with it. Back to Pate. Back to Glenn who launches forward. All that patient build up for a launch ball. But Stuart Baird's going to pick up the second ball and launches forward again. But he's going to find Zambi in acres of space. In for Jeremy Cabio. Dancing like, oh, he's got all the time in the world and he's skied it. Ah, what are you doing, my man? Zambia wins that header, but it's only as far as a red shirt. He's got into Soler. Plays a cross for Raheem Sterling. Nobody there to meet him, and he's got the pace, and he's burnt. Jada Silva is cross, nowhere dangerous, so, and Glemmy will catch up with relative ease. And he's launching it forward for St. Louis. Cleared away to Gabriel Jesus. Forward for Gerard. And Bolo, oh, it was a setter. Couple of big, big missed chances so far in this game. I can breathe. And just memorise how good that youth intake was. I'm glad I showed you that, guys, because that was an insane youth intake. I hadn't looked at the youth intake before I did it. I'd literally just seen it. Oh, there we go. Read the next messages. Go back. Hit record. Uh, Sambia to Pele. Cabio gets it away. And Gabriel Jesus brings it forward. It's a great ball for Gerard Moreno. And it's in the back of the net. So we're 2 0 down. I mean, I wasn't expecting anything from this game, if I'm honest. But it's a bit frustrating. I mean, passes like that really grind my gears. Fabinho, Solaire. Whipped across to Raheem Sterling in space again. Played forward for Gabriel Jesus. He's got his man done. Bowl cleared away. Fabinho. Raheem Sterling again. Another cross in. And Gerard Moreno in again. Uh, 3 0 at Monaco. We need to come up with something. Um, what I'm thinking is slightly deeper and more direct passing. Uh, hopefully, it might do something. If we bring you back and not play you as a wing, maybe play you something like that. Maybe lose some of the attack and support in the wide width, but. We need to do something. Um, we're getting absolutely crushed from some positions. That's a really poor pass from Stepanovic there. Merit plays it forward. Mbolo again. Picks up. Isco. Played across. Raheem Sterling. Brings it forward. Whipped in. 
Gabriel Jesus, it's four. Uh, we need to find something here, and we just don't have it. Whatever that something is, we do not have it. We look like scoring every time they go forward. And we've had big chances as well. And don't get me wrong, this is a really, really strong Monaco side, but we shouldn't be this bad against them at half time. So we're going to make some changes. We're going to bring Baird off uh, for Christensen, just because he's on a yellow. Bring Brancon off as well. Bring Picorni across here. We'll play these guys as fullbacks on support. And who am I bringing on there? We're going to have to bring on Velez. Uh, now I know you're Mazella. Play as a box to box. That would work. Start the second half, please. So double half time change. Change the formation into a free, a four three three rather. And I'm kind of hoping that that's going to help negate us some of the midfield issues. Because right now we've got nothing blocking our midfield. Having Christensen on as well takes away the yellow card issue of Baird. And we seem to be a bit more in the game in the second half. We're going to bring on Mossart for Collier. Hey, Collier. Cabo, rather. Collier was the Thierry that I loaned out. Zambia. Pele back to Junior Sambia, the man who hit his own teammate on the backside with pretty much a guilt edge chance, Christensen to Velez, Dylan St. Louis to Pernovich, it's a decent effort from, I don't want to, I was going to say his nationality but then my brain went, I can't actually remember his nationality right now, that's just smashing, that is literally just smashing. Okay, well we're going back to having two there because the game does a moment have three in the midfield, which has really gave us a bit of a foothold into the game and stopped their waves of attack. Um, but we're going to have to play with ten men and two in the midfield because one of our guys got injured as Pele. It's had a, did we just hit our own guy in the back of the leg with pretty much a, another golden opportunity? We've blocked more of our own shots than we have of their shots. That's literally where we are today. Ugh. At least we kept it to four. Much better in the second half. Um, I'm curious because I think we did have a couple of very big clear cut chances there. Um, as much as we only had one shot on target. So it's given me one clear cut chance and three half chances. Nine half chances for Monaco. I mean, we cannot dispute the result when you look at that. I mean, that was pretty brutal. Um, that's just not a good enough performance. So someone had a five there, I think. Um, did someone actually have a five there? Did it, was it five at half time and I caught it in time maybe? Uh, 6.5? No, no one quite that bad. Uh, when do we bring come bring you back? Um, is there any games that's important for us? So names could be quite important. Uh, not Brest, we've just played Brest, so I can't imagine we're having a game against them. Same with Gigant. Can. That's the next game. Bring you back for Nimes. Nimes is quite an important game. Um, or Dijon or Amiens. Maybe. Dijon's up here. Amiens. There. Um, Mets. Kind of want to do uh, Marseille though. Uh, right, we'll bring you back for this Nimes game. I right, give us one in between. And then we'll come back for the. Marseille game after that and then the end of the season so that gives us three more episodes this season that works out quite well for me I think so we'll do Nimes, Marseille, Montpellier in that order um, all big big games for our season um, so thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed hope you stick around and come back for the next episode against Nimes. if you enjoyed hit like hit subscribe and I'll catch you all next time